Good morning. Hope you're doing okay. I really miss singing hymns in church. Spotify and iTunes is great. And if you've not um, downloaded that or listened to any Christian music on that, you should definitely do it because it'll do you good. It'll encourage you. There's some really good Christian songs on there. But it's not the same, is it? It's not the same as sitting next to someone in church or standing next to someone in church, another Christian, and singing and worshipping God together. I really miss that and I can't wait till we can do that again. I love some of the older hymns. I love some more modern ones as well. And one of the difficulties with being asked to do this a little bit later on is that loads of the ones that I really love have been chosen earlier on. My favourite hymn is Yes, Finish, The Messiah Dies. The story of salvation in that song is amazing. Talking about the work of the cross and what it's achieved and what it's accomplished. What a song that is. I also love the words of When I think my faith will fail, Christ will hold me fast. That song moves me. That he's got hold of me. Christ has got me. Another song I love is Oh for a Thousand Tongues to Sing. My Great Redeemer's Praise. I, I, I get it. I, I, I wish I had thousands of tongues. I wish I had more everything within me which wants to pour out and praise our God. Because he deserves the praise. He's worthy of it. I love that song. Do you ever listen to a song or read a hymn and think, that's it? That's what I wanted to say? I, I, I connect with it? I wish I'd written that. That's what I feel. Well, the, the song I've chosen today, the, I, I love this song. And when I read it, I think, that's it. These are the words. Faithful one, so unchanging. Aidless one. You're my rock of peace. Lord of all, I depend on you. I call out to you again and again. You are my rock in times of trouble. You lift me up when I fall down. All through the storm, your love is the anchor. My hope is in you alone. Faithful one. There it is in the title. Straight away, we know this song is not about you or I. This song is about our faithful God, our God who doesn't change and our security in times of trouble. Its message, we can trust in God. We can depend on him. I think we've all got trust issues, haven't we? We've all been let down by at some stage by other people or we've, other, or, or, or we've let down other people ourselves. We've got trust issues because we're unfaithful people. But listen to this, God isn't like us and our actions don't change who he is. Faithfulness is part of his character and his very being. He is faithful. Paul testifies of God's faithfulness when he's on death row. He's writing to Timothy and to Timothy and he says in chapter 2, verse 11, he start with, with here, it says, This saying is trustworthy. For if we have died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful. Why? For he cannot deny himself. Why can we trust God? Because in the storms of life and the storms of judgment, God's faithfulness is not dependent upon us. His faithfulness is dependent upon his own word. And he cannot deny himself. God keeps his promises. We're promise breakers. He's a promise keeper. And here's a promise for us promise breakers to hold on to today. 1 John chapter 1 verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. How can we not worship him? He is faithful, even when we're faithless. And if we confess our sins, he will forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And he is faithful to do it. So how can we not worship? How can we not? With the songwriter, say to our faithful God, 
my hope is in you alone.